Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm Kelsey Mayurki Celine. We like fashion and we love handbags. If you do too, definitely hit subscribe and let's jump into this video. So if you clicked on the video today, you are here for a review of the Hermes Oran sandals. I have mine right here. I purchased these last June, so almost 11 months ago, and I thought I would do a review on them for you all. So I'm gonna do a very, very quick unboxing Obviously, I've worn them. I've had them for almost a year, so they look worn. They have been. So anyways, they came in the classic Hermes orange shopping bag. They also came with this booklet that has the receipt and then some care instructions for the shoes themselves. And here is the box that the shoes come in when you get them. I put the ribbon back on it just for viewing preferences and I'm going to just unwrap them and this is the classic Hermes box that again all our Rons come in. Now when I got mine they did not come wrapped in the dust bags already but I like to store mine in the dust bags so here they are. So the box just comes with the actual shoes and the dust bags themselves. There's no extra tissue or anything in there. So these are the dust bags they come with. So I'm gonna pull out the first one. They do come with stuffing for the band. I'm going to pull out the second one and then stuffing for the band on this shoe as well. Here are the sandals. I very clearly got mine in the box calfskin in the gold color. So the sandals had the classic Hermes H cutout and white stitching. And so this is the top of the shoe. There's the front, here's the inside, and then here's the outside. And then this is the sole of the shoe that we'll get into in a second here. So when I first was interested in purchasing these Arons, I originally was looking at the tube color. And then I went in the store about two or three times to try them on. And they luckily had the etupe and the gold in my size. Obviously, I came home with the gold. I really like this color a lot. But I know at some point I will probably end up getting the tube and a few of the other colors. So my overall rating review of this shoe is a 10 out of 10. I absolutely love these sandals. They are super classic, very minimal. Um, this particular color fits very well with my wardrobe. If you have more of a classic wardrobe and in a very minimal style, these will work perfectly. Not just in the gold color, they have plenty of neutrals. And if you have a brighter color palette, these shoes come in a plethora of colors. They come in a few different materials as well. This is obviously the classic box caskin, but if you were interested in like a raffia kind of uh, beachy color and material. They do sell a runs in that for the warmer months. And then if you're looking for more of like a comfortable Sherpa soft kind of material, they also have that for the colder months. So very, very versatile shoes. I also like the fact that these can be dressed up or down. I know they're originally kind of made for the pool side, just to slip on and off really quickly when you're at the beach or at the pool, like I said, but you can absolutely pair these with any casual or dressy style. I am a flat shoe kind of girl, and so the fact that I can dress these up or down is perfect. So getting back to the soles of these shoes, I do have sole protectors on them. And if you would like a link to these, I can certainly put that in the description. They were pretty affordable, and I'm actually really glad I got them because they not only protect the soles of your shoes, but they cut down on the noise that these shoes make. When I first tried them on in the store, they were definitely very loud. And after putting the sole protectors on, they're very quiet. You can't hear them at all. Um, obviously, the way I walk, you can see that they're worn down in the, uh, I guess, outer corners of the shoes. Um, but I do appreciate having them. They're definitely good for the 
longevity of the life of these shoes. I definitely regret not getting sole protectors for my Chanel mules for the sake of saving the soles of the shoes and for the noise especially. So I honestly really don't have many cons. I will say though my biggest con about these shoes is that the band is pretty loose. It's pretty wide for my foot specifically. So I naturally have very long narrow feet and while these shoes are, I can honestly say that these shoes are pretty slim cut. They're still a little bit wide on my feet. So probably like the second or third time I went to try these on, the SA kind of mentioned to me that I did have room obviously, but I didn't have enough room where it would be like an issue with walking. And she did mention that she had some customers before that had more narrow feet than I did and they were fine with them. I don't mind walking in them. It's not a huge inconvenience, but I will say like I have long legs, so I tend to kind of walk fast and I do have to be mindful to slow myself down when I wear these because my foot will easily slip out. Not that they won't stay on, but like if I'm walking a little bit faster, they definitely feel kind of loose or I almost feel like I have to grip them or like pick them up so I don't trip over them. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind if you have more narrow feet. Again, not a deal breaker, not that you can't walk around in them, but if you are a little bit taller and you tend to walk a little bit faster and you have narrow feet, just be mindful that you may have to kind of slow down with these. Again, not a bad thing, not a huge deal, just something to think about. So another con, and this isn't necessarily a con specific to this shoe, it's more so a con for this style of shoe, is that because they're made very flat, they're not comfortable for long periods of time, like walking in them. So if you are somebody that does have like arch concerns or heel concerns with your feet, I don't think these are probably the best option or if you wear them just know that they're not going to be comfortable for wear over the course of a long period of time. I have no problems running in and out of shops, going out to lunch, going somewhere that doesn't involve a ton of walking. But if I'm like exploring DC or something, I probably would not wear these so just keep that in mind as well. And the third thing that I would highlight I personally wouldn't highlight this as an overall con because this is something that's very, very subjective to every individual person, but the price. So right now, I know that between when I purchased these and now there's been at least one or two price increases. And I know the current retail price at Hermes for these sandals is 760 US dollars. I will put the Euro conversion on the screen for you all for comparison, but right now in the US, these in this specific material and color, they are going for $760. Again, I'm not going to call them cheap or affordable, nor am I going to call them expensive because again, everybody has a different level of what they view as expensive or affordable, but price is definitely something to think about. It's just something to keep in mind when you are going to purchase these. If you are someone who's looking for a more conservative price, but you want this style of shoe, there are a few options out there where you can get something that looks a lot like this for a fraction of the price. So I want to highlight three of those options. One is the Steve Madden Hayden sandal. The second is the Sam Edelman Bay sandal. And the third is the Tucker Nuck French Soul sandal. Tucker Nucks does have a DC local brick and mortar store if you do want to go in and actually try them on before you purchase. But they do have a sandal that does look similar to the Iran's and I will link all three of those alternatives in the description for you all in addition to obviously the Hermes Iran's themselves on the Hermes website. Now if you really really just have to have the Hermes 
brand Aran sandals, but you are a little on the fence about the $760 price tag, I would highly recommend looking on the pre-loved market. There are plenty of items on the pre-loved market, especially items that are gently used, brand new, and shoes are no exception. I know that there are Hermes Aran on the pre-loved market, so just take a look there for the sizing and the color options that you desire. And you could probably find the pair at a reduced price, so that's also something to think about as well. Otherwise, I really don't have any complaints about these shoes. Like I said, I really do enjoy them and I don't wear them all the time, but I definitely get a lot of wear out of them and I compare them with so many of my outfits. So I think this was definitely a very good purchase for myself. And of course, for all the dog lovers, obviously Celine would not fit in these shoes. I think her body might not even be the length of my specific Arons, but I am inserting a picture here of Celine presenting slash posing with the Arons just for the fun of it, um, just to bring some puppy joy into your life. And so that's all I have for this review. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a like. If you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, certainly hit subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.